Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Kirin Gamma armor set. In case you missed it, then today the first Arc Tempered event quest went live. This one is called A Whisper of White Mane. Head over to the quest board, scroll down to event quests and you can select it from there. This quest will have you hunt an Arc Tempered Kirin and if you missed the stream that announced these or my videos going over the details, then Arc Tempered is a new tier of difficulty beyond that of tempered monsters. It's designed to be the biggest challenge yet. There will also be other Elder Dragons getting this treatment in due course, but to kick things off, Capcom thought it'd be fun to let us fight an ultra tough, ultra angry Kirin. So yeah, have fun with that. The quest runs from today, that is June the 8th, all the way up till the 21st of June, after which the next one will enter the fray, which is Arc Tempered Valhazak. But for those of you guys asking why you want to do this, the answer is the Gammoned Armor set. Up until now, we've had Alpha and Beta sets, but fighting Arc Tempered Kirin will allow you to craft the Gamma Armor set. Gamma Armor doesn't really change in appearance, and the skills are largely similar to the Alpha and Beta sets, but the skill point distribution is different, and there are a ton of slots. So for those of you guys looking for ways to min-max your builds even further, this could be for you. So let's take a closer look. Of course, if you did enjoy this video, then a like would be super appreciated. And be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think or if you have any questions. Now, as mentioned, aesthetically speaking, it is essentially the alpha set. It colors a little differently when applying pigments, but there's really not much to it. So jumping over to the skills, this has most of the core skills you'd have from the alpha and the beta sets, minus a couple, but where it's dropped some skills, it's beefed up a few others. You of course still have the Kirin 3 piece set bonus, Capture Master, which gives you a high chance of increased capture rewards, but let's be honest, that's not really why you're going to be making this set. So moving on from there, this has max thunder attack at level 5, meanwhile the alpha set only gave you level 3, the beta set level 2. And while yes, a lot of weapons don't need this much thunder attack, at least if you're using the crafted options, there are a few now that Call of Tiroth has been added and you have the relic weapon options that can actually take advantage of max thunder attack, so there's some value in that. You then have level 3 Blight Resistance to completely nullify Elemental Blights, meanwhile the Alpha and Beta sets only gave us one point in that in the past. Free Element slash Ammo Up is still level 3, nothing new there, but this is an important skill because that's ultimately one of the main reasons people often pick Kieran Pieces, for the Free Element. You also have Marathon Runner, although on the Gamma set it's only level 2, which reduces continuous stamina depletion by 30%, meanwhile the Alpha set had level 3. And besides that, there's actually nothing else. So the Gamma set has dropped Divine Blessing and Thunder Resistance, but as mentioned, the other interesting point here is where the skills are distributed. Typically, if you've used Kirin Parts, it's because the legs have free element. Meanwhile, on the Gamma set, level 2 free element is now on the chest instead, which means you could then pair it with, say, Dante's Leather Boots for weakness exploit and work from there, just as an example. So it gives you some options for mixing sets in a different way. On top of that, it's also all about the slots. The Gamma set has a lot of nice slots, starting from top to bottom. You have a level 2 slot in the helmet, two level 1 slots in the chest, two level 2 slots in the arms, two level 1 slots in the waist, and a level 3 slot on the legs. And if you compare that to the Alpha and Beta sets, well the Alpha set had no slots at all, and the Beta set was essentially level 1 slots across the board. So while yes, the Kirin armor as a whole might not be the most appealing option, some of the skills and slots offered by these new pieces will at least give us some more variations in our mix sets. Free element sets have been pretty cookie cutter for a while now, so it'll be interesting to see if the chess piece sees some alternate options. But for the time being, that's pretty much it. That was just a quick look at the Kirin Gamma armor set. Remember the quest is live until June 21st, so if you want to grab that, then that's your window. Also remember that there will not be a mix set Monday next week because I'll be over in LA for E3. There'll be lots of cool videos coming your way, but there will just not be a mix set Monday. That will continue the week after. So if you do make any new sets using this armor, be sure to submit them and I'll try and pick some of those when I get back. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.